Hi everyone, uh, my name is Sophia. Hi, and I've made a presentation on the Great Lakes. So what are the Great Lakes? The Great Lakes are a series of large interconnected freshwater lakes in the upper Mideast region of North America that connect to the Atlantic Ocean via the St. Lawrence River. They are a dominant part of the physical and cultural heritage of North America. There are five Great Lakes from west to east. First, we have Lake Superior. Second is Lake Michigan. Third is Lake Huron. F four is Lake Erie. And five is Lake Ontario. And on your right, there's a map that shows you where all of the lakes are located. So we're gonna start with Lake Superior. Lake Superior is the largest and northernmost of the Great Lakes of North America. It holds 10% of the world's surface fresh water. Its area is 82,103 kilometers squared. Its length is 563 kilometers. Its volume is 12,100 kilometers cubed and its width is 257 kilometers. So Lake Superior hits these specific cities. So it hits Duluth, Minnesota. It hits Superior, Wisconsin, Thunder Bay, Ontario, Marquette, Michigan, and St. Marie, Ontario. And above all the names is the pictures of the cities. And I made sure to choose specific photos where you could see Lake Superior in the background. Um, so the fish that swim along the Lake Superior are Lake Whitefish, Lake Trout, the Walleye, the, bur the Burbit, and Lake Sturgeon. And above all the names are pictures I found on the internet of all the fish and what they look like. Some fun activities to do near Lake Superior are one, you can go to the Great Lakes Shipwreck Museum. The museum offers circle tour travelers a glimpse into some of the dangers faced by those who traveled Lake Superior in the past and the, North, and the other Great Lakes of North America. This museum is located in Whitefish Point Light Station, Michigan. You can also visit Copper Falls State Park. You can witness canyons, streams, and even waterfalls in between a swimming and camping experience that you will be sure to never forget. And this is located in Mellon, Wisconsin. And you could also visit the Wisconsin Point Lighthouse. The lighthouse is nestled between a 10 mile long sandbar that splits in the middle to form the Wisconsin Point and Minnesota Point, making it the longest freshwater sandbar in the world. The lighthouse is not open for tours. However, it is a popular attraction to visit and is a favorite amongst photographers. And this lighthouse is located in Superior, Wisconsin. Um, the second lake is Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan is the second largest of the Great Lakes by volume and the third largest by surface area after Lake Superior and Lake Huron. Its area is 58,030 uh, 58, kilometers squared. Its length is 494 kilometers. The width is 190 kilometers. And the volume is 4,918 kilometers cubed. Lake Michigan hits these specific uh, cities and many more. It hits Michigan City, Michigan, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Holland, Michigan, Grand Haven, Michigan, and Green Bay, Wisconsin.
It also hits a lot more cities, but unfortunately, I was not able to fit them all uh, on one slide. But these are the main cities that Lake Michigan hits. The fish that swim along Lake Michigan are lake trout, the yellow perch, the smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, and the bowfin. Some fun activities to do near Lake Michigan are, you could visit the Lakeshore boat tour. There are opportunities to go on a boat tour all around the lake. You'll enjoy a trip on the Wind Dancer, a beautiful 63-foot schooner, which gives tours from Grand Haven, Michigan. And this boat tour is located in Munising, Michigan. You could also visit Beach House at North Avenue Beach. North Avenue Beach near Chicago's Lincoln Park is an excellent place to start your Lake Michigan vacation. The beach has plenty of activities for all ages, including kayaking, swimming, and biking. This beach is located on Lakeshore Drive in Chicago. You can also visit Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore. This park features 50 miles of trails through a diverse landscape with wetlands, prairies, dunes, and forests. Hike the sandy dunes near the beach or visit the birds nesting in the wetlands. And this park is located in Chesterson, Indiana. Next, we have Lake Huron. It is shared on the north and east by the Canadian province of Ontario and on the on the south and west by the U.S. state of Michigan. Its area is 59,600 kilometers squared. Its width is 295 kilometers. The surface elevation is 176 meters and its length is 332 kilometers. Lake Huron hits these specific cities and many more. It hits Port Huron, Michigan, Sarnia, Ontario, Godrich, Ontario, Saginaw, Michigan, and St. Ignis, Michigan. The fish that swim along Lake uh, Huron are pumpkin seed, the alley wife, rainbow smelt, northern pike, and the yellow perch. Some fun activities to do near the Lake Huron area is you can visit the Tawas Point Lighthouse. On Lake Huron, head to the Tawas Point Lighthouse, which is in Tawas Point State Park. It was originally built as a response to a sunken ship in the 1870s and then reconstructed and expanded in 1875. And this is located in Tawas Beach, Michigan. You can also visit Ann Harbor's Hands-On Museum. The Ann Harbor Hands-On Museum features over 200 exhibits for all ages. Some of the highlights include a toddler space with water activities, a ham radio station for tweens and teens, and this is located in Ann Harbor, Michigan. You could also visit the Canoe O'Sable River, Head down to Osalbo River Kayaking Company in Oscata for a beautiful canoe or, kaya or kayak tour of the Osalbo River. Remember to take a camera along to capture the breathtaking scenery along the river. And this is located in Thedford, Ontario. Next we have Lake Erie. Lake Erie is the fourth largest lake of the five Great Lakes in North America and the 11th largest globally. It is the southernmost, shallowest, and smallest by volume of the Great Lakes. At its deepest point, Lake Erie is 210 feet deep. Its area is 25,744 kilometers squared. Its length is 388 kilometers. The width is 92 kilometers. And the surface elevation is 173 meters. Lake Erie hits these specific cities. It hits Erie, Pennsylvania, Cleveland, Ohio, 
Buffalo, New York State, Port Colborne, Ontario, and Monroe, Michigan. The fish that swim along Lake Erie are the big mouth buffalo, the yellow perch, the brown trout, the common carp, and the rainbow trout. Some fun activities to do near the Lake Huron area is you can walk in Rondeau Provincial Park. It is the second oldest provincial park in Ontario, Canada, having been established with an order in council on the 8th of September, 1894. The park is located in southwestern Ontario on an eight kilometer long crescentic sand split extending into Lake Erie. And this is located in Morpeth, Ontario. Next, you can visit the Lighthouse Point Provincial Nature Reserve. The lighthouse itself is the second oldest Canadian lighthouse on Lake Erie and received a beautiful restoration in 2000. It is located to the northeast end of Pelee Island and bounded by water on every side. And this is located on Pelee Island, Ontario. You can also visit Long Point Provincial Park. Long Point Provincial Park is a provincial park on the northwest shore of Lake Erie near Port Rowan, Ontario, Canada. The park is part of a sandy split of land called Long Point that juts out into the lake. And this is located in Port Rowan, Ontario. Lastly, we have Lake Ontario. Lake Ontario is one of the five Great Lakes of North America. It is surrounded on the north, west, and southwest by the Canadian province of Ontario, and on the south and east by the U.S. state of New York, whose water boundaries meet in the middle of the lake. Its area is 18,960 kilometers squared. Its width is 85 kilometers. The length is 310.6 kilometers, and its volume is 1,640 kilometers cubed. The fish that swim along Lake Ontario are the Atlantic salmon, the coho salmon, the Chinook salmon, the walleye, and lake trout. Lake Ontario hits these specific cities. It hits Toronto, Ontario, Hamilton, Ontario, and Rochester, New York. Some fun, some fun activities to do near the Lake Ontario area. You can visit Hamlet Beach State Park. It is a 1,287-acre state park located on the shore of Lake Ontario in the town of Hamlin in Monroe County, New York, United States. The Lake Ontario State Parkway passes through the park. You can also camp here. This is located in Monroe County, New York. You can also visit Ripley's Aquarium. Ripley's Aquarium of Canada is a public aquarium in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. The aquarium is one of three aquariums owned and operated by Ripley Entertainment. It is located in downtown Toronto, just southeast of the CN Tower. And this aquarium is located in Toronto, Ontario. You can also visit the CN Tower. The CN Tower is located in the downtown core of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. It is one of Toronto's largest tourist attractions because the CN Tower is one of the tallest buildings in the world. This building is 553 meters tall. Some fun facts on the Great Lakes. More than 20% of the world's fresh water is in the Great Lakes. Lake Superior contains half of the water in all the Great Lakes. Lake Michigan is the only Great Lake that is entirely within the U.S. territory. The Empire State Building would sink beneath the surface of Lake Superior. The Great Lakes region is the primary water source for more than 40 million people. And lastly, Lake Superior is the largest freshwater lake in the world by surface area. Thank you for listening.